Hi, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, thank you again for all your support and thank you for, yeah, all your support. Um, today, we're gonna do a HIIT style workout. So we're gonna do HIIT cardio, basically, or HIIT training, if you wanna call it that. Um, I don't really consider this to be cardio. If you wanna make the circuit go a little bit faster and kind of put yourself on a timer, then you can definitely make it a cardio kind of session. I'm gonna show you a bunch of things that I like to do because normally I show you a lot of leg stuff and today we're gonna to do more total body for your requests. I just wanna say for one second that, um, well, a little note, I've been traveling a lot and I'm super grateful for that and I travel a lot, especially in the state of Texas. But um, I've been taking Aqualoss lately uh, from Nutrex Research. A little bit more about this product. This is a diuretic and it pushes the water out of your system. It's a lot of magnesium and a lot of potassium which is super, super great for that stuff. Like I said, it's natural, so um, let, let's say you're just walking around and all of a sudden, or you're traveling, right? And you feel more bloated because your body is kind of, like I said, holding on to everything, or you're having some changes or whatever. You can take these, um, you'll uh, release these through your system, uh, basically a drainage, and you'll feel, like, like I said, less bloated, uh, less water retention. And if you don't know what water retention is, um, water retention basically to me is basically described as if I feel puffy or I feel like my body just feels like it's holding on to something or I feel more swollen than I usually do, like in my hands or maybe in my face, um, on the back of my legs. We hold a lot of water, especially females. So uh, with that being said, this definitely helps with decreasing that. So it brings all that down. So, right, so if I feel puffy, take some of these and then I feel less puffy. Okay, okay. Code for this, uh, for Nutrex Research, is NELLY, um, all caps, and you can get 20% off of it. Um, yeah, so this is a great little product. It's natural, and you can take them twice a day, and you will feel like a whole new person um, if you're traveling or a little bit bloated, uh, especially for females. You'll like this stuff. Anyways, and I just want to give a shout-out to Superfresh, Superfresh Clothes. This is their leg day shirt. Um, I get a lot of questions about this one in particular because it is super cute. So, uh, super fresh. Again, I have another code and I'll link that below. Uh, they're a great and a great business and everything's super limited. So, you're like the only one walking around. This workout, since it's kind of loud in here and I kind of want to show you guys and I'll voice over it or put this over the actual workouts that I'm doing. Uh, first, we're going to start off with a new thing that I like to do, which is called the frog. It's a new machine here um, at the House of Gains and it's pretty much a full body workout. It's, it's super hard um, and like to start off with, I the first time I did it actually, I only got down once and back, um, and I was exhausted. So it's definitely a great tool uh, that I want to show you guys. And if you don't have one at your gym, uh, maybe I'll do a quick modification as to far as to what I think that would kind of be similar to it, um, a crawl out. After the frog, move into the battle rope. The battle rope is one of my favorite things, especially for cardio or for simply toning um, your arms. If you're trying to get uh, super toned arms pretty quickly, I would say that you should probably do the battle ropes um, several times. Let's say you're going on vacation whenever, really put that into your workouts. I would say like every day, at least two minutes worth. So the battle ropes are great again for toning and you can also rev that up a bit and add some legs to it. So I'm gonna show you battle ropes and we're gonna do the traditional way, which is basically both hands and then we're gonna do the right, left, right, left. We're gonna do that the regular way and then we're gonna get on top of a BOSU ball and I'm gonna show you how to do uh, the same movement um, with legs added to that, right? Some two sled pulls, which is uh, sled pushes basically, which is one of my favorites. Um, you can put as much weight or as little weight as you want to. Again, you can make this for time or you can make this for resistance and isolation. For the last little workout that I like to do um, when I'm doing all these things, I'm just gonna do a frog hop into a burpee. Uh, so. Like I said, I'll show you what that is. Again, you can do for you can do it how many rounds you want to for as long as you want to, quick or slow, like I keep saying, right? I'm going to get into this workout, and if you want to learn about what I'm doing right now, please keep watching. Right now, I'm gonna get onto the machine called the Frog. I'm going to put my feet in the straps, and my arms are gonna be at the very top of the apparatus. I'm going to push, and then I'm gonna bring my legs forward very slowly because I'm trying to intensify that burn in my stomach and on my thighs because where you feel this, you should feel this in your thighs, you should feel this on the back of your 
uh, glutes and you should feel this in your stomach as well as your caps on your shoulders. So you can either do this as slow as you want or as fast as you want if you're going for time. Um, like I said, you can go super fast. If you're going for more resistance and isolation, you can go as slow as you want. Up right now, um, my feet are wide. All right, I'm crouched down into a squat position. My uh, head is facing forward, and my toes can be either slightly out or facing forward, depending on which muscle you kind of want to hit. If you're doing this more for take my battle rope, and I'm going to thrust it, hit it as hard as I can on the ground, uh, as quickly as I can for as long as I can. take it, and I'm going to start doing right, left, right, left, right, left, and I'm going to flick that rope as hard as I can to get the most resistance out, of, um, get the most benefit out of the workout. After I've done this as much as I want, I'm gonna move on to the BOSU ball. We're gonna step onto the BOSU ball in that same uh, squat position. I'm gonna distribute my weight as much or as best as I can. Um, again, I'm gonna grab the handles, do the same movements that I did in the previous workout, only with the BOSU ball. If you wanna take it up one more notch, you can try to either do a lateral lunge back and forth or do a switch, um, uh, switch lunge. If you have a clear space, please put your head down so that it's more in line with your back so that you're not creating a swoop with your neck and your, and your T-spine there. So you're pushing the sled um, as fast as you can with as much force as you can and then you're pulling it back as fast or as slow as you can, depending on what I said earlier, if you want to isolate or if you want to go for time. If you want to, or as little weight as you want to. Uh, if you're a beginner, you can start with no weight. Um, more advanced, you can obviously pack on the pounds. position we're going to do the frog hops I'm going to stand in that squat position I'm going to use as much force as I can I'm jumping forward with all my might and I'm going to go right into that burpee and I'm going to continue doing the same movement all the way down the track for as long as I can and then I'm going to either back pedal back crab crawl back or sprint back But um, 
I mean, this is just, woof. It was a good color, it was a good, A for effort. Anyways, but when you lift weights like me, I mean, the nail game is kind of off. Anyways, to get off the tangent, because I'm talking on in a tangent, um, I hope that you like the workout. Definitely go and try it. If you don't have a lot of time, like I said, I, I get hit with a lot of questions about not having a lot of time or not having a lot of the equipment. Um, the equipment um, that I should, um, with their workouts, so things like this and things like today are definitely great workouts that you can um, incorporate into your regular routines. If they're new to you and unfamiliar, um, try some every other week or try some every day. Just to, uh, try to add something in and just kind of get used to this. Um, it's great for keeping your heart rate up. I can't say it enough. I'm not a huge fan of being on the treadmill for hours and hours and hours, but I am a huge fan of uh, keeping your heart healthy, especially with cardio, cardiovascular workouts. So. I hope you enjoyed the workout. I certainly did. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Please like and subscribe. And you can follow me on Instagram at Nellie Lynn Fit. That's N-E-L-L-I-E-L-Y-N-N -E -N -N Fit. Um, for more fun, because I like to have fun and be kind of weird and goofy. So always be yourself. Don't be afraid to not be yourself. Tutela, tutela. Okay. God, I just keep talking. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a great day and you're excited to. It's okay. You are talking louder. Oh, I was. I told you. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Um, I'm not gonna say that. I bet it should. By the way, I don't know, you probably don't care, but there's this guy behind you that's kind of stealing the show a little bit. 20% off this little baby. So yeah, do it. Was that better? <laughs>